Prime Minister Alan Chastney phoned into the widely popular outgoes in with Andre Paul Russell Lake and Clement Charlie Charles to clarify the aims and objectives of the social stabilization program. He explains that contrary to some reports, the measure is not akin to an economic stimulus package. Chastney contends that the goal right now is to assist displaced citizens, given that the world economy came to a sudden halt. You're an individual, Andre. If you owe government taxes or you owe somebody taxes and you have very limited or no money coming in, are you going to spend your money on, 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 on things that are not going to deal with you? That's human nature. And that is what's taking place. And I'm asking persons to basically... Think of all of us at this point. We have to find a way to collectively work together in order to ensure that we can survive it. And that's why that we felt it was important to differentiate a social stabilization program, which is completely different from an economic stimulus. There's no point in putting out an economic stimulus program right now when we don't know what the new normal is going to be. The Alan Chastney administration claims it is attempting to grant financial breathing space and relief to St. Lucians on the breadline as a result of the economic downturn wrought by the global COVID-19 pandemic. This includes humanitarian assistance to the indigent, monetary support to the unemployed, moratoriums on loan payments, and tax breaks to companies which keep workers in their employ. Chastney says he has held dialogue with the central banks and the Bankers Association on the deferrals. We were able to change those protocols and adapt those protocols to this situation, which allowed the, the banks to come out with a blanket statement, which was that they would offer a, a moratorium on interest and principle for those individuals that had been impacted. So it's not like an automatic situation, but it's a blanket statement. And then it requires each of the individuals as well as companies to now apply to the banks and to be able to receive this moratorium. In addition to that, that if need be, the moratorium could be considered to be extended by another three months after that, depending how deep the, the fallout is going to be. The Prime Minister warns that the nationwide quarantine and social distancing regime is not over given the threat of community spread. He explains that the adherence to public health guidelines will improve the odds of the opening up of the local economy to -to day-to-day transactions within the borders of St. Lucia. We need to be very disciplined in our social distancing. And the persons out there who've understood that, please, Do not get angry with the people who have not. Pull them aside. Try to talk to them. Try to explain to them why we're supposed to be doing what we're doing and letting them know that they are threatening their own health and they're threatening the health of their own families and get them to be able to understand what many solutions already understand. But collectively as a nation, we need every single solution, 100% participation in understanding that protocol. And once we've done that, at least now, we're better prepared to open up our local economy. And I mean our local economy means that the hotels will not be open, there will not be tourists coming in, and that the business is going to be limited to what we can generate ourselves. But at least that's going to be putting some money back into person's pockets until we understand what is going to take place globally. Chastney stressed that the 7 to 5 curfew is still in effect and the opening of grocery store and banks is merely for the purchase of food and medicine and not an invitation to socialize and roam free. Colby DeVoe, HTS News Force.